Hi everybody, Miss Kate here with this week's science experiment. Um, I am going to be creating for you an exploding chalk art bag. So here are our supplies. I'm using a gallon size baggie. Um, this is the size that I've been sending your weekly summer reading things home in. So if you have kept them, feel free to reuse it, reuse it if you want to do this. Um, a little bit of cornstarch. I'll put the exact ingredients in the in the description. Um, vinegar. Some food coloring. And of course, baking soda. So it's the same essential ingredients as we used when we made the bottle rocket a couple of weeks ago. But this one, we use the cornstarch as a thickener. So it kind of leaves a nice, almost chalky look wherever you explode it. So you can do it on your sidewalk. I'm going to do it on my driveway, so hopefully you can see it work pretty well. Um, and then it rinses right away because it's just food coloring and cornstarch and, and vinegar. So it rinses right away. It doesn't leave any stains as far as I know. <laughs> okay, so let's put it together. First, I'm going to open up my Ziploc baggie all the way. And I'm going to add one cup of cornstarch. Okay. And I'm using a quarter cup measure. So for you older kids, how many quarter cup measures do I have to use to get one full cup? All right, put in one. There's two. Three. And four. So we're not just doing science today. We've got a little bit of math thrown in there too, don't we? All right, so there is my one cup of cornstarch. It's a little messy. I don't know if you can see it, but it's flying all over the place. Now I'm going to use a half cup measure for my vinegar. So how many half cup measures will I need to get one full cup of vinegar? You older kids already know it, don't you? Well, we're going to do one, two. We will need two half cup measures full to make one whole cup. Okay. Whew, I don't think I spilled any. Can you believe that? Before I jinx myself, I'm going to cap that though. <laughs> now this isn't quite as volatile. It's not as almost violent as the rocket was. It's a slower um, explosion and then it just kind of bursts in this beautiful art that it leaves. Okay. So once you've got one cup of cornstarch and one cup of vinegar in your baggie. You're going to want to seal it up tightly. Let a little bit of air out and seal it up. And then you might be able to see it's kind of chunky because that's what cornstarch does when it gets mixed with a liquid. But if you work it for a few minutes with your hand, it'll, it'll all turn into a liquid. Okay. I forgot this is where you add your food coloring to. So I'm going to open mine back up and I have some green food coloring that I'm going to do here. All right, so just a few drops will do it, just to make it pretty. There we go. I got some on my finger, too. Typical. Do I ever do anything without making a mess? The answer, folks, is no. Okay? So there we go. I got my food coloring in there. Now I'm going to finish mixing it up. It might be noisy for a minute. Hold on. Just kind of tip it back and forth. Work all that vinegar and cornstarch together. got one corner of cornstarch that is not playing nice. It does not want to be mixed with that vinegar. But I say yes. There we go. Now mush it in there with that vinegar. Okay. Now, mine feels all liquid again. No more clumps. So now what I'm going to do is take my baking soda and I have a tablespoon measure in here just so that I know pretty much how to tell how much to tell you to use. So I'm going to rip off a piece of toilet paper. I use something it's a little bit bigger than one square um, because I put in a little bit more baking soda than I did last time. So I used about two full tablespoons of baking soda. I'm going to tip my computer down so you can see 
hopefully. Yeah, there you can see. All right, so I'm going to put it like right in the center of this square of toilet paper. And then you just kind of try to wrap it up. You want to try to contain the baking soda in this little square. Now mine might be a little too full, but it should be okay. I'm just going to squeeze it so it keeps it all kind of contained. Okay, now I'm going to tip the computer back up, get things out of the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out in my driveway. I'm going to open just a small part of it, just enough to fit my baking soda in the bag. I'm going to reseal it, give it a shake, and we'll hopefully be able to watch it um, kind of explode. It's not a big explosion. Like I said, the bag will expand and then poof. Okay? You ready to watch? All right, here we go. Just like I said, it was a slower explosion, but I'll try and move so you can see it still. Um, but it kind of, when I did it, I did it further down the driveway and it kind of, when it popped, it oozed out like that. So up here, it must be a little more level. So I tipped the bag up so it would ooze out a little bit, but it looks pretty cool. I'll get you a little closer here in a second. So, um, same as with the bottle rocket, if you're going to do this, do it with an adult. Okay, this isn't something you should play with. It's not particularly dangerous, but if you do it wrong, I don't want anything bad to happen. Okay, so do it with an adult. It can be fun. Have some fun with it. See if you use more baking soda or less baking soda, more vinegar, less vinegar, more cornstarch. Just try a few different options and see what happens. There's a truck going by. Hold on. All right, let's see if I can get you a little closer to see it. walk there. All right. So that'll do it for this week. Have fun if you try it. Show me some pictures. Show me what your art looks like. Make different bags of it maybe with different colors. That'd be cool. All right. Sounds good. Have fun. Make sure you're doing your book bingos and I'll see you soon.